Brubaker and I, who's now on the board of CET, um, met with Eric Isaacs at Argonne a few years ago and started talking about the need for an energy policy in the Midwest and Chicago. Tim started moving coffee cups around to show the importance of network. And um, we didn't know what would become of all of that, but when Michael Polsky and I decided to put something together that became Clean Energy Trust, um, and we brought Amy into the fold, uh, we quickly uh, determined that what we needed to do was focus and um, we wanted to be able to uh, have a very clear vision of what we wanted to do. It took a little time. Uh, for many years I've been on the board of Conservation International, and I once asked Peter Seligman, the chairman and CEO, Peter, if you could define what Conservation International is all about, what would it be? And he said, biodiversity. So I thought that was a very succinct answer. Uh, for us, I think it's entrepreneur. Um, what what uh, the trust is all about is creating an environment in which entrepreneurs can thrive. Um, and that requires a, uh, a, a consistent effort by a group of organizations and individuals. And importantly, it involves the research institutions, it involves the venture capitalists, the corporations that are end users of clean technology, um, it involves private equity, uh, and very importantly, it involves governmental entities and creating a platform that makes it conducive for the entrepreneurs to get funding and uh, start their businesses and thrive. This was something that we found lacking in this area, um, and we felt um, what better place than Chicago to be the epicenter of this movement for the city, for the area, uh, for the country, and, and actually for the world. Um, all of this was before our new mayor came into the picture, and uh, we have an old saying in our family that it's better to be lucky than smart. Uh, in this case, we were very lucky. Um, I can say without hesitation today that we have the best mayor in the United States in Chicago, Ron Emanuel. Um, Ron is with us here today. He's been tremendously supportive of the Energy Trust from, from the inception uh, and uh, from before, time before he was elected. Um, Ron has shown his commitment to the environment and to clean energy right from the beginning. He's done more in uh, a short period of time than has been done in Chicago in, in many years. Um, and he has demonstrated this very uh, uh, profoundly in the last uh, a few days uh, through his uh, closure of polluting coal plants, which have been uh, the target of protests by environmental groups for years. Um, and by today, announcing a, a $200 million program and infrastructure bank uh, with uh, President Clinton. Um, again, this and many other uh, smaller, less noticeable, but not to us, uh, very clear uh, signs that he is very supportive of what we're doing. Um, uh, Mayor Emanuel, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks everybody for being here. You know, let me, uh, first of all, I want to make clear that everybody understands all the actions we're taking are a precursor of what you are going to do in this room. I'm proud that while well, the city of Chicago had the only two coal plants in a city, that an effort that was there for 10 years to shut them down, we finally achieved that goal. Not only achieved it, but achieved it faster and moved the date up. So by the end of December, one of those plants will be mothballed. And that's a big, that's a big uh, Now, today, on two fronts, which I'm excited about, we're going to launch the largest retrofit of any municipality in the country. $200 million of work, 2,000 construction workers will actually, who are unemployed, go do that work on window installation, uh, on all types of caulking, all types of other work that will be HVAC work, which will actually pay back uh, both the investors and pay back the city by lower utility rates and lower utility costs, rather. We're going to also establish the first of its kind in a uh, city, an infrastructure trust to finance this, which will then be used for other further infrastructure investments and in what I call game-changer infrastructure investments, 
that will be important for the city, mainly in the mass transit area. Uh, places where I think that also is a smart investment for the city to make. Now, all that is the right thing to do. I can talk about what we're doing on taxis. We, for the first time in two decades, finally updated our taxi ordinances, requiring them to have uh, hybrid cars, requiring them to have uh, energy saving cars. We're creating 100, uh, 100 miles of bike lanes in the city. So every year, 25 miles of protected and other bike lanes to make this one of the most bike friendly cities. All those are the right things to do. We'll do them regardless. But with the Clean Energy Trust and the companies here and the venture capital here, we will then take Chicago to the next step. I'm actually remiss to uh, say, by 2013, Rather than half the city with recycling and half the city without, the entire city will have recycling. Uh, on every level, we're taking the steps. The public is proud to do that. I'm happy we're doing what we did the other day with the two coal plants. But they also have to see the jobs and the economic activity that comes with it, not just because it's the right thing to do. There's a, a lack of better way of saying it, a cleaner way to say it, that there's some payoff to the change, and that's in creating a, home, uh, a homegrown industry here in Chicago. We clearly, obviously, with all the, you know, we have more wind companies here. We have solar capacity in, uh, companies here, but we have to see it across a range of issues. We have the research uh, uh, entities. We have the entrepreneurs. We can attract the financing. We have clearly the kind of office and other type of uh, back office operations and everything else that are needed for young startup companies to make it happen. And I would like to be known if we're going to be the greenest city. We're going to have it on recycling. We're going to shut our coal plants. We're going to launch the largest retrofit in the country. We're going to update and modernize our taxi cab fleets. But I want to make sure people see when they see the city of Chicago, this is a young, dynamic city on the forefront of research and technology in the area of clean energy. <coughs> if we don't complement everything else with that, we'll be missing a huge opportunity, in my view, for the city. So I stand as your partner. You guys lead the effort. You'll make the critical decisions. The city stands as a partner to help foster this, nurture it, and accelerate that process as your partner. And if we do that, I think people will no longer see the debate between clean energy and economic growth as one of conflict, but of one of close cooperation. And it's incumbent upon all of us in this room to make that point and achieve it by growing new companies that expand, hire, and as you know, if you look at any field, Minnesota, numerous medical device companies, information or software companies out on the West Coast, things come in clusters. It's not an accident. Chicago leads in certain fields because it has a cluster people can hire in that space. So if we're going to lead here, we have to create a kind of what I call a mass where that people, number of companies get set up, number of entrepreneurs get set up, ideas get shared, and then you create what I call the cluster in a field and dominate in that space. It's not an accident that Chicago's the center for the most wind companies. That cluster comes. Let's make it in the entire space of alternative and renewable energy. Thank you very much.